Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Defense of the Patients. I'm Cyphus, over here to my, well straight ahead is Roland. Or to your left. Uh, well, I'm facing you, but you're, you're, right, you're you know. slightly leaning. Yeah, yeah. So it'd be more left than right. But yeah, so, straight ahead. So today we're, uh, and I think what we're going to try to do going forward on the Wednesday show while we don't have Jack available still is kind of highlight different uh, community members. Uh, Roland's been talking to the horse rapper, really wants to get him on. Yeah, uh, dude, he's cool. And yeah. I donated to his Twitch <laughs> uh, because he made that really cool song. I didn't realize some things. Uh, about the horse rapper oh. that I definitely can't wait to share oh, okay. uh, about on the show. Well, we're not going to find out about it today because uh-huh. today we're going to highlight a different element of the community. Uh, you guys, I, you know, I when I was growing up, I remember getting like Electronic Gaming Monthly. Do you remember that magazine? Oh, yeah. I, so I remember throwing many a fit inside of a, a, a grocery store because I wanted game magazines yeah sure that was those were fun dude. yeah they were way cool it's like you know egm check out. egm like shaped a lot of my like early gaming life think about the player on alliance egm sure yeah, yeah. you wonder mm-hmm. if that's a drive. definitely dude yeah. yeah that was a well, popular magazine today's guest is trying to do that for dota 2 welcome to the show Rhaegar, and he is uh the publishing mind or at least the coordinator behind uh what's being called feeders digest welcome to the show it's good to be here. Although now that I'm being compared to the horse rapper, I feel woefully inadequate. Nah, no, 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 you should feel very adequate. That, yeah. he he's had some some pop hits. Okay, he's <laughs> he's 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 good. Um, but this is extensive. This I mean, is this is crazy. So, I, 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 give us a little bit of give us a, all right. Why don't you explain to those because I'm sure there are folks out there who haven't heard of it yet. Uh, why don't you explain what Feeders Digest is? So, it's. It's a magazine about Dota 2. Uh, someone made a you slash MSR hyphen. He made a shit post about the memes for the month and like a fake magazine cover. And I messaged him and said, you know, you're joking, but this could happen. So then I made a post the next night saying recruiting for a Dota 2 magazine. I go to bed like two hours had passed. I had two efforts. I'm like, OK, it won't happen, whatever. I wake up the next day to 300 Reddit messages and 200 emails. Yeah. I read and responded to all of the relevant ones. Well, you uh, made people resubmit, passed. right? As I recall, you were like, I had to delete my whole inbox and resubmit with yep. this, uh, a different title or something like that. Yeah, so I was uh, too dedicated and Google thought that I was spamming because I responded to so many in such a short period of time. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. So I had to make a new one, have people resubmit, and then have them submit a sample of their work. Because originally, I'm like, all right, I, I got to take who I can get. I got to, you know... No one's going to want to do this. Well, And you're a 16-year-old kid, too. I want to highlight that, right? Yeah, 16. 16 years old. You're taking on a magazine that 50 pages. Uh, it looks like a real magazine. Uh, the quality is definitely there. Denny? You yeah, agree? Oh, Obviously, I mean, we, we'll, yeah, post, we'll um, post links when we, when we put this up. So for those those who are interested, if you're, you know, if you're wanting to peruse this while we're chatting, uh, it's a, an issue account, issuu.com. And you can just go to issue.com forward slash feeders digest. Uh, and I mean, you can get a peek at it. It's, you know, you, the content section, everything is, is, it's what you'd expect in a magazine. It's, yeah. It's the, it's the right level of meme. Uh, there's, there's a, a section that goes over um, lore on a hero. And I, and I really like that. So, so Rhaegar, are these ideas all yours, the name yours, or is it just, the, the mass of emails you got that kind of helped you create this. One of my friends uh, suggested that I name it Feeders Digest. I'm like, no, that's stupid. Shut up. And then it, someone said it should be called Feeders Digest, and that hit the front page, and so I went with it. They okay. grew on me, though. So you, so you're, you're, you had that, like, uh, that Reddit fame for a second, which, hey, it feels, it feels good to be up on, <laughs> on top of our Dota. Yeah. You, it's all downhill from there, though, man. I, yeah. Yes, I imagine. <laughs> so I didn't realize just how young you, young you are and how much work you're putting into this. I mean, how, mu- how much work are you putting into this? Yeah, how many I, hours? Well, walk us through. What was it like getting that first issue compiled? Well, I would say that about, well, let's see, 30, about 2% of applicants. Wait, no, that's not right. 30 out of... 500 applicants i don't want to do math right now it's summer they uh actually got a reply about 40 percent of those i actually did that math responded and so then i had to send out secondary emails 
and I ended up getting right on my initial goal of 20 people. And so that took like 12 hours the first day of just looking at emails. Um, and then the second day I had to look at the responses and make sure, you know, people had the skill. Uh, then I didn't write an article and I just spent a couple hours a day editing. Now my so you're the judge. Team, you're the judge of yeah. who's skilled and who's not skilled. Well, who's more qualified than an unemployed high school student? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> couldn't agree more. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Keep keep going, please. No, it's good. Yeah, I talk too much. No, okay, but that's what this is for. But I got I got all those people. Uh, I spent a couple hours a day editing on like the last ten days. I don't actually have to work on the magazine to the last ten days because we have our articles due on the twenty fourth. Then we edit it and our layout team. A big shout out to them. They are the real MVPs. We originally, it was just one guy. And then some people criticized his work. And he's like, well, why don't you try? And turns out they actually do it for a living just like him. And so now they're all good friends. Nice. And I mean, I'm guessing you have a team of editors. I'm guessing you have, I mean, I can't. Denny, I feel like you're way more qualified <laughs> to ask questions about this. Like, this is your medium, man. Sure, I in mean, in a way, yeah. Like, I, this is just—it's a monumental task. So, uh, how many articles are you looking at including in every in every issue? I should know that. Because, <laughs> uh, like, uh, let's see, I was perusing the last one. So, the July issue looks like it's got four, six, nine, twelve. Uh, I mean, about yeah, about a dozen, dozen and a half. Yeah, we shoot for around 40 pages. You know, we figured that if we go much longer, the average digital player's attention span will be gone. Oh, you lose me in like four pages, but like <laughs> that's my that's my attention span. But, you know. Yeah, we got yeah, about a dozen. It's so it's pretty monumental. I've got to say I I I was there for like the Reddit thing and I was like, "Oh, this is this is crazy." And then I saw your response, and then I saw you're like dedicated and I found out, I find out you're a 16 year old, like literally when this show started, like I'm impressed. I've got to say, I mean, it's definitely a monumental task. It's cool that, I mean, so to give everybody just kind of an idea, if you don't have it in front of you, if you're, you know, in your car, listening to this on the way to you, on the way to work, uh, you know, the sections are like a game analysis, you know, so the July's issues covering earth shaker, uh, yeah, you know, the articles it needs a nerf earth, earth shaker, uh, which, Lane, I regret. <laughs> which you regret. Why do you regret that? Well, my profile picture is Earthshaker. For those who don't know, uh, Ragor is Earthshaker's first name, Ragor Stonehoof. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. uh, so Swinton the Melons made all those tweets, you know, about Iron Talon being ridiculously strong. I'm like, oh, it's not that bad because, you know, I'm a 3K plebeian, so you can do just about anything and win if you're good enough. Mm -hmm. And so I try Iron Talon off landing, and I'm like, well, Earthshaker's literally unplayable now. <laughs> <laughs> Earthshaker off lane, I mean... But I mean, it's cool. I don't know it, what to do. I mean, they them. go over like lane mechanics and, you know, just lane mechanics 101 is one of the articles in, in this last issue, drafting tips for, you know, sub 4K. And then they've got fan content, you know, the, the infest the secrets of a life stealer, uh, esports stuff, you know. Who's I mean, coming so up with these titles is what I want to know. You need to be doing some shout outs, uh, Regor. Regor. I like, think it's on every article who comes up with the title. Everyone comes oh, up really? with their own. Oh, really? Okay, mm -hmm. so so you just you take this stuff on the twenty fourth and just bind it all together. Are you just like some pro tool or pro tools? Uh, are you just some like uh, Adobe Prodigy or something like that? Uh, I have not done a single page in terms of layout. I've only edited the grammar and made sure that because uh, one of our guys he's from China and. A couple of a few of our guys are actually from Asia and that region, but one of him, he uh, he does really good art, but his writing isn't so strong. So I'm like, all right, we need an editor. So I did that, and then people do the actual layout who do this stuff for a living. I don't think they do magazines for a living, but they do uh, like layout design work. Sort. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, so how did you find out an issue? Because that's this is the first of your. I'm like I'm kind of just even intrigued by the concept of this issue.com. Like I had never heard of it before. And I Google know, magazine website. Nice. I mean, cause it like, it, so I, it's interactive. Like, I mean, obviously you guys aren't printing, you know, you're not printing physical copies of it. The day of the magazine is behind us. We could talk about that forever. You know, it's, well, you say that, well, I mean, it, at least in like a physical form, it well, feels we're like talking like, magaz a, like going even... to the store to buy my information. I'm not going to do yeah. I, that. Uh, about that, that actually blurb has a blurb.com. I actually use that cause I had to write a novel for school. 
worst assignment ever, by the way. If you ever have a teacher who does that, uh, they hate you. <laughs> but we had to write our novel. Turns out they have a deal where it's like eight ninety five per issue. They they'll print out the magazine and like you know that special magazine paper, and they take a cut of it. But then we get the rest, which we're looking into. That's, so you're looking well, into actually printing it for? Are you gonna be at TI six passing these things out? Oh no, traveling is awful. If I ever have to do traveling, I'll make greed. He's the guy who interviews everyone. I'll have him do it. <laughs> I, well, I guess, you know, the reason I kind of point to, like, the digital spread of it is, you know, you can do things like embed a YouTube video. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can, that is useful. Uh, the, yeah. Those are those are elements. I mean, those are things that you're That's not going to get in a printed form, obviously. Yeah, obviously the play button in the middle has to go away and then the URL has to be right below it. You know what I mean? If you were to print it, yep. right? Um, yeah, but a lot of people ask for hard copies in the comments and I get emails about it. I mean, it would be cool to collect Dota 2 magazines. Sure. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I have an, a very extensive Dota 2 magazine collection. Like, could you imagine saying that? Sure. I, like, I, that I can imagine you profile. saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, but even beyond that, just like being able to, you know, one of the articles is about uh, status effects and, and dispels. dispels yeah. um, and they make a, a reference to a Wrath, Wraith King game with uh, Secret and Escape Gaming and it, from the regional qualifiers and i mean you can click that link and see the dota buff profile for the match you know what i mean you can like get those kind of ancillary details and and find your you know find that web of information which is that's pretty damn cool yeah i i hope you take over the world like you plan to do because i'm pretty sure that we have the f this is the first time we've had like a, a mad you know scientist genius on our show whatever you <laughs> mad definitely mad but uh, this is insane. Uh, this is like taking all the bullshit on Reddit, sifting through it all, finding all the good stuff, and then presenting it in a in a good fashion. I appreciate that. Is that like the uh, plan? Is like take, get just sift through all the stupid shit I have to see every day, and put it all in one nice neat magazine with links. More or less. <laughs> well, you know, job uh, well accomplished. Yeah. It, it turned out a lot better than I expected. It, I expected, I don't know if you saw, there was a Dota 2 magazine from a couple years ago, TI4, I think. Awful story about how that went away. But uh, long story short, some people lied. Some people stopped playing Dota because of it. And it, it's it's a whole mess that I don't know all the details of. I'm like, all right, you know, they have some good ideas. And I show it to my layout guys like, no, 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 no. We can do better. And they did better. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean it's it's they did. it's beautifully. Done. So what what is a meeting like with with you, with you and your your staff? It goes roughly like, "Hey, Nilseps, I don't like you," and he says, "No one likes me," and then the magazine comes out finished. No, yes. there's there's definitely some seriousness there. Uh, I don't know. A lot of people just kind of do their stuff and we put it all together. The assembly team meets about uh, text and making sure that everything is consistent. Uh, cause you know, a magazine with style jumping around between four different people would be suboptimal. So they talk about that, but we don't really have meetings anymore. We got our system done. It's kind of, do you want to, we already, we have job opening. We got Merlini to, as an <laughs> <Yeah>. interview <laughs> for this month, actually. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, uh, like just looking at like last week or last issue, uh, three, six, nine. So like 18 contributors. Uh, I mean, that's, that's a pretty hefty staff to coordinate. <laughs> We have, we have less, yeah, and we <laughs> and we do, do way do. less, yeah. <laughs> and, and are way less coordinated. Yeah, what's better. your what's your grade point average? Are are you one of those kids <laughs> that cares about your grades, or are you one of those kids that's just like secretly smart but gets bad grades? Uh, my parents want to listen to this, so I'm not gonna say the truth, but uh, I am actually above a 4.0 student. Above a 4.0 student, what? So you speak Spanish and you got like an A plus. <laughs> No, it's a Paul Francais. Oh, uh, French. <laughs> okay. Well, um, Jay Gushi will be happy. Yeah, I think he will. I think he will. This is, uh, I feel inept, kind of. Like, you wish you would have got started well, younger? Yeah, like, I, I'm like 10 years older than you. Like, my little sister's your age, and she's not doing cool shit. I'm barely <laughs> even doing cool shit right now. Hey, parents, sorry for the language, but we're going to put explicit on this. Your son, I have no idea, was 16 years old. Uh, I really do. Like, I feel, like, uh, uncomfortable for the first time on the show. Like, I feel like uh, 
this kid's gonna be something I'm like you know <laughs> where's your horse wrapper now yeah <laughs> <laughs> so what uh what are the plans going forward are you guys are gonna keep doing it month to month okay so uh, i just want to make very clear with monetization you will always be able to view the magazine for free uh one of our assembly guys is against monetizing it entirely because you know so many people it wouldn't be right for me to take a bigger cut considering i do less work actually than some of the assembly people so like if we split it evenly it would be a pittance to some and like literally nothing to others after i mean uh, after we the really hours don't they have in. much of a reason to monetize yet but the plan is just keep getting big names uh sir action slacks is supposed to be writing for us if he will respond to my reddit message you put a comment you saying hear that slacks do like a <laughs> hmm i was just i was just asking slacks if you heard that he's he's in <laughs> the room but he, he's asleep yeah he's, he's yeah. asleep so oh yeah yeah he he's uh he he put a comment on the last thread saying hey that that wicked cosplay sure is a dame that's who we interviewed he's like what if you could write in and have responses well now you can i'm doing that next month and I'm like, all right, well, I didn't know about this, but that seems good. Just get on this Discord. All the important links are there. And he never did it. Just never <laughs> he, did it. I will tell you, he's, he's one a, of the busiest guys guy. in esports. Yeah, so. I, I suspect you'll hear back from him, probably post-TI. We talked to him shortly after he quit his job, uh, uh, Slacks. And he was... Is it a full-time now? Uh, oh. Oh, yeah. For, like, over two, uh, like, about two uh, year, I, year and a half. I want to go over a year for sure. Uh, yeah, he's... He's more than full time Dota. He's like eight putting in eighty hour weeks and on the plane for the rest. Uh, yeah, you know we, he's, we know he's traveling about. And I mean, I he's he's definitely you know like an icon of the Dota two community and definitely somebody that's really fun to talk to, no matter who you are. Yeah, it'd definitely be, fun to meet him. Yeah, it'd definitely be um, fun to see him. See you know what what his writing style's like. Actually, I that's you know one, yeah. One, well, one, no, you know. I've seen it on you see it all the time on Reddit. He's yeah, top I mean, our it's, Dota every it's, day. It's different whenever you're writing a piece. You know yeah. what I mean. When when it's sure. going into a, when you're sure. doing something for publication that's always a little sure. different than the casual responses you get on an AMA or on a on a Reddit a subreddit's post. Um so I, all right, so what what's been your favorite part about doing this going it, it, since you started it? I don't know, when I get it done. <laughs> the feeling yeah. of satisfaction is a hefty project. Are you worried about burnout? Because I promise you it exists in Adults. I, I mean, maybe it doesn't. Let me exist let me let me years. tell you something. I played twelve matches in one day at one point this week. If I burn out, it's gonna be soon. But like, I can just do one thing forever if I like it. Guess what? I can stay up way later than you can. <laughs> so I've got that on you at least. I can stay up like way later than you can. <laughs> Summer play Dota man. all night. Jokes uh, on you. I got insomnia. I'm up all night every night. Oh. Hey, does that help yeah. with writing the, the or making putting things together the insomnia? Uh, I was during the school year. I get real sleep deprived because it starts so early, and uh, I don't know if that contributed to my decision to do this. I have no idea why I did it, but yeah. Do you still have some of the emails of like the worst submissions? <laughs> Can we read some of those? Get real uh, lively in here. I don't know if I could find it, but there is. You can one remember some, right? Who, no, yeah, no, I don't give names. One. Like she writes in, don't and give she. I'm not. Oh, I'm not going to do names. Okay. No, it's this person who lives. In, no, no. Um, <laughs> her name. What? Oh, I almost said her name. She wrote in, <laughs> and I was like, "Hey, you know, we've got, I got better people." Uh, and like, was just like so self-deprecating the whole time. I look forward to definitely not hearing from you because this is so terrible. I'm like, well, you know, that's really not the way to sell yourself. But I sent her. All right, I need a response because there's so many people, and she just. Never responded, like most people. Where do you come from? Let New York, but now I'm in Ohio and have been for 11 years. That's okay, America, let's talk about the magazine some more. <laughs> so, um, going forward, you're going to keep to the month to month. Um, mm -hmm. And I mean, do you see? Do you? I mean, do you think school's going to kind of get in the way as you? Or how do you <clears> feel like you're going to be able to handle it when you get to when you get back into school? The difficulty of school is overrated. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, um, I'm, I'm serious. We are talking like Lex Luthor right now. We should get off the phone, dude. We should get <laughs> off know, the phone. You know what the ironic part about this is? What? My least favorite subject is English. Your least favorite <laughs> subject? Is, uh, yeah, you know, and you're, I don't blame you. High school English. So I'm, a joke. What, what math? What level in math are you? 
Like what what type uh, of mathematics are you doing? I'll be doing AP calc. I went up a year. Of course. Of course. See what dude, I mean? It's easy. It's just whole numbers. It's just whole numbers? No, all numbers. Like just numbers. Just no oh, yeah, calc- really letters in math. If they are, you just ignore them. Yeah, trigonometry really freaked me out because that was like uh, degrees, numbers, and then degrees, and or radians, and then it was like whoa. And now everybody hit pause on and the now, podcast. And that was when I was like <laughs> twenty two, <laughs> not even. Okay, so what? When are you going to Stanford or Princeton to teach there? Like, when's that? You happening? going to Ohio State? When? Uh, two years, I think. Two I'll years. be a junior in a month. In a month. Look, it's going back to school. You're going to be a junior. You're barely turned 16, I'm guessing. Uh, my birthday's in December. 16 and a half, then? You're 16 yeah. and a half? All You're right. 16 and a half. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop Grandpa Roland from asking other questions. Uh, so, how long have you been playing Dota? Uh, I don't know. But I know when I really got into it was after TI4. Not because of TI4, just roughly at that time. Yeah, we're about the same for us. Yeah, when you were like 11 and we were like still in our... <laughs> no, not about like what we're TI4 doing. wasn't five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. No, I see why you had such a hard time in the maths. Yeah, uh, I did. <laughs> I struggled. As, uh, what position do you play? Offline. So uh, actually, you know, I thought you guys invited me on to talk about my two Battle Cup victories, but whatever. two weeks in a row with this kid. It's only Division Four, though. Oh, only Division Four. The oh, division we're in. playing in. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cheating because he's actually the interviewer for the magazine. He used to be big into Dota in houses, and he's like he had a team that played against Fog before. Oh, so, really? But he doesn't grind MMR, so he's still at 3K. I don't think he's played ranked in ever. But you still have like a job. normal like skill. Well, that, you have like, an invisible MMR, but I, I'll, but the Battle Cup specifically said at the at the start. Oh, it goes off it your goes ranked off of your ranked MMR division. initially, and then after that, it's based off of wins within your division. I want to win afraid one. That we're gonna move up a tier because it says if you win enough, you move up. We're afraid we're gonna get stomped when that happens. Probably not if you've won two of them. I, yeah, I'll bet it's not at least, as... At least there will be good competition. I bet it's not as big of an increase. Or I, I wonder what the increase is like, really. Or I wonder how, how much teams have, have felt it that have right. done it. Are you drafting? I'm gonna... I'm gonna Who's drafting? I'm gonna tell you. Oh, I'm, I'm drafting, of course, and the oh, best one. Of course. <laughs> of course uh, you I'm gonna, are. I'm gonna tell you guys, game-winning strategy every single game. Uh, I play offlane Void. Uh, we get Elder Titan position four. That's the guy who played against Fog. And our mid laner plays Dragon Knight. Uh, Elder Titan Nora plus Chronosphere plus Dragon Knight, everyone dies. What's your safe lane? It just doesn't matter. It's just those situational. Three hits. Situational, but you get those three. We no had Warlock what. against Enigma to interrupt Black Hole, and the first time Enigma had Refresher Orb, so did our Warlock. So we just never got a Black Hole off. Oh my God. Okay, so you're talking. To, can the spirit walk around inside the Chrono, the Elder Titan spirit? I don't know. Then I don't what? pay that much attention. I'm like just so, he just work. like slant. Like what? The chrono goes up, and then he gets a stun ready, and then the dragonite well, breathes I mean, even fire. If, it doesn't, if it's right there and the sleep is going off, you know what I mean. I'm like, just like yeah. Uh, our general team fight strat is everyone's like, all right, go back. I'm like, yeah, that's right. I'm going back in. They're like, no, go back. And I say, yeah, yeah, that's right. And going back in. Don't get back. And then I chronosphere, and then. We use Earth Splitter and Elder Titan Nora oh, yeah. and Dragon Earth... Knight, and everyone dies. Yeah, it's that's the Earth that's Splitter. the big yeah. part of the Elder Titan. It's so. ridiculous. I want to draft that for tonight's <laughs> team that. practice. Yeah, we'll see. I'll do the ET, dude. I'll play ET. Mm, I can play. We'll just I can we'll talk about it after the show. Of winning by revealing my strategy. Oh man, yeah. Well, hey, if we go Div Four versus Div Four, I, I know your strat, dude. And I'm just gonna <laughs> ban those three heroes. First that phase. actually happened, so we just played Slardar and uh, Ricky. Huh. Still won. So, do you have any uh, friends in high school that are also interested in Dota with you? No. Actually, I like I had a group of, like, you know, 13 friends. We were fairly tight. I've only talked to two of them since summer started because I just he got the magazine in Dota. I, I have a I, bunch of I people that. I play with in a stack. Well, yeah, you have you have your stack, you have your friends online, and, uh, you know, I took the easy path in college, and, and it's called computer-mediated communication, and you know what? You can build the same bonds 
uh, with people over the internet as you could in face-to-face interaction. Uh, don't quote me on that, and don't think that's real science, because we're talking about communications here. But, uh, yeah, no, they say CMC, or communicated com- uh, computer-mediated communication, is a way to form a relationship. And so, yeah, dude, I have one friend, and that's this guy sitting over here. And then everybody else exists online. Uh, literally. Like, I consider Joy Thief a good friend, but I've never <laughs> met him in yeah. real life. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I, I've fostered a relationship well, with Joy Thief. Well, you've been playing Dota 2 and talking with a guy on and off for two plus, you know, two plus uh, yeah. years now. I consider Beast a friend. Whoop, whoop! Uh, and, uh, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> and uh, you know, he, uh, I've known him for a couple of years. Is he a friend or is he family? <laughs> He's family. <laughs> uh, um, no, I've definitely cultivated some of, like, we have a buddy that's flying down here from California to drive to Seattle from Utah with us to TI. Uh, and we met him via Defense of the Patients. Like, dude, tell your parents it's okay. Just if they're like, yeah, tell if your they're parents like, to let you go meet strange men you meet on the internet. They'll love yeah, that. Yeah, that's a little weird. Yeah. Don't put it that way. Uh, make sure, you, yeah, that's a little weird. Yeah. Uh, and check, just, re- check just registries. Check just registries. You know what Roland. I mean? Uh, yeah. But I'm just saying, check tell your public criminal record. Yeah, public criminal record, a bunch of stuff. Yeah, you want to you check that. But, uh, you know, it's it's fine. I think that's fine. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind. I'm about to have a boy. I wouldn't mind if he sat and played games, so long as he was playing with other people. Because I, you need your social I, time. I think there's you something need to your be, social I, time. I'll say that I think there's something to be said for face to face interaction. And, and you can form the same relationship n- according to my communications n- book. N- not according to a lot of <laughs> psychologists. Look, but. dude, it's calm theory, okay? So. <laughs> No, uh, yeah. it's called computer mediated for a reason, and yeah. it takes an element of the face to face. The marriage. only hey, we've 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 talked about the it only before. thing there are is chronemic cr- cues, which you know when I want to get off the phone. You know that like sure. that like feeling of like okay, well, see but, ya. But I mean, we've we've talked about this on the show before. There is there's a dangerous element to computer mediated communications, yeah, absolutely, and, and and that is the anonymity factor, especially when which you talk is why about, we rip it away within our community but yeah you know aside from that like when you know when you're going into a random pub i mean and i'm sure this happens to you all the time regor like I, you meet some pretty terrible people <laughs> mhm do your parents know you swear <laughs> uh i never swear but you've Ever. seen it in a Dota match. Yeah. <laughs> Do your parents know you see bad words every single day? Every, tons of them? Every time you log in. Yeah. And all sorts of racial slurs. <laughs> uh, no, that never happens. The Dota community is a very nice and outgoing, you know, real friendly. I think my parents are going to listen to this. So oh, this is okay. true what I'm saying now. <laughs> no, I, I, all right. We're not I, trying to get you in trouble. No, 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 okay? no, no. I will say, I mean, yes, you do meet a lot of nice people. And for every bad, and, you know, of course, the mute button exists for a reason because you can. Are we really going to bullshnike and say that this community <laughs> is nice, dude? No, I, uh, <laughs> the thing is, like, it only takes one on your team. Just it, one. Yeah, it does take one awful. to turn it toxic. It's like, it's like you, a know, you get one guy who starts flaming, then someone just speaks in defense, and someone's like, no, this guy's right. And then, you know, next thing you know, you're all using the iron branches and make the swastika on the end game screen. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's some creative folks out there. I, yeah. But, you know, you can mute those people. You I've can never avoid seen that. having to deal with that. And more importantly, it is good to, it, you know, it's good to find that stack that you can join up with so that you don't have to worry about interacting or, you know, being randomly thrown together with some asshole like that you know that, that's mm-hmm. that's the beauty of the five stack it is yeah, actually they uh i have a tag on that server called diarrhea of the mouth and i just keep talking and they get salty and i think sometimes they mute me but they don't say anything it's good stack yeah hey that's that's fine i mean if you're the guy talking all the time i do that all the time with people that i play with regularly where i'll mute them for like the mid game and then unmute them and make sure everything's all good (laughs) and then (laughs) mute them some more because it's just like i'm not i mean but it's different then then there's the reverse where like for whatever reason you have to mute your mic you know go in go in and they like they say something vaguely related and like you go in like why don't you go with me and then like oh by the way you've been muted this entire time like yeah like because like not they muted you you had your mic muted yourself yeah, no, that happens all the time, especially using Discord, because for some reason I have the same issue as you, where I can't yeah. change my bind key. So I yeah, can't use push glitch. to talk with Discord and use in-game. So I have to have, I just say mute me, 
Because I'm double talking to the people who are in Discord. Yeah, super me. obnoxious. I, I, that's that's a glitch I'd love to see corrected. It's just it's got to be simple. It's just a it's just a broken line I, of code. I, it, it's a broken line of code. It wasn't in, it, it it wasn't honestly it wasn't even until like six eight seven that I had that issue. I I, I bet like, it, it's not even just a reborn specific glitch. Like it didn't start happening the moment I got well, into reborn. I think it probably started happening the moment you got Discord. Possibly. I wonder if Discord wonder, plays an interaction because you always run yeah. it as administrator. Um, and you let that thing like take control of your machine. God knows what it's doing. I know every time I open XSplit or OBS, it turns me on streamer mode. So that means it won't make the annoying sounds that Skype makes. Like when we're recording, oh, that's cool. it puts it on streamer mode. Wow. So I get silent messages. And so it's a bad thing sometimes because I'll leave XSplit open and then I'll have like a bunch of messages that I've missed. And they're like, hey, Roland, just wanted to say I miss you and you're a nice guy. And then like sec- six days later, I'm like, I just saw this. And they're like, yeah, right. It's like, no, for real. I just saw this and you're a nice guy too. And thanks for leaving such a kind message. And it, it, it really does go that way. But All right. Before we before we wrap the show, I would like to – let's do State of Affairs because we haven't done that in a minute. And it would be, oh, it'd be dude, awesome. If this is like my future employer. That. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I need to be careful. Uh, 4.2K in solo 3.3K <laughs> yeah, in party. Yeah. Um, no, I am – I have dropped drastically. I was 29.50 in party. I was – 27 15 in solo i am now 25 17 minus 24 in because i just lost the game i don't know whatever that is in solo yeah so 24 96 in solo and then somewhere in like 24s in the party um and that's in international ranked i haven't even calibrated regular ranked what heroes are you playing lately disruptor yeah um that my god it was just one night you weren't here and I was like, Disruptor's such a good hero against Slark. Like, I love the yeah. lockdown versus Slark. I'm gonna. I how hard is, could it be? There's nothing better than glimpsing Slark back, throwing him inside your ult, yeah. throwing down that static field, and oh, then it's just, just that, letting the team a off. silence field. <laughs> yeah, a silence field. Well, and it, oh a lot of it, the the bigger element to that is that Slark's a hero that builds Shadow Blade and, and he, will frequently try to Shadow Blade and if, you if you can get, get the glimpse off before then mm-hmm. the, the uh, static field reveals in Viz Heroes. I know it, it's just it's like a chronosphere but it doesn't look as impressive I guess. Yeah. But uh <laughs> I I know I should be practicing my safe lane because uh, yeah. that's <laughs> technically the position that I play but I haven't had more fun in Dota like more of those like laugh out loud moments just cuz ridiculous stuff I'm having like really censor myself glimpse. here because really, of glimpse. Because of, yeah, not right. not just glimpse. Those kinetic fields that just barely get, where you barely catch them. Where you know you sure. put it down and they like stop for like a split but second. The, and I it's feel enough. like the, the glimpse are the funny moments. Well, though. the glimpse are the laugh out louds. Do you you didn't see what happened earlier in that game? The clockwork. So we're doing a Roche fight. I'm gonna sum, summarize this really quickly. Clockwork has Ags hooks in. Right as the Roche is dying, steals the Aegis. We totally have him trapped, our whole team. And what does my dumb A do? Glimpses him. <laughs> and so he snatched the Aegis, and then I glimpsed him out all the way to, nice. from where he hooked from. Because and everyone was... Of the week, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, everyone said, Dota d- WTF, please. Dota WTF. Or the, the uh, do- that's painful. Uh, because, I don't know, I was like, I know he's going to hook you, dude, and I'm ready. And, like, the second he did, I, I hit him with the glimpse, but it was enough time for him to pick the ages up. Oh, man. <laughs> then he just, bloop, back after we had him completely. We could have killed the ages and him. That's painful. Oh, yeah, and everybody on the team. We wrecked. I mean, you saw. Yeah, it was, you saw. It we still stop, won, basically. but, like, that was a huge misplay. Um, and it, it shows just how versatile the spell the is. Time, though. Well, it, it, and, like, and how, you, somebody how back easily you can sometimes? mess it up. Yeah. Because I, I too often, like, I, I know... I, at least twice that I can remember in the past, like in the past two months of playing Disruptor with some frequency, mm-hmm. I've been I because you know I never skill anything right before you get to the rune, and I've had that moment where it's like oh a glimpse can save this character's life, so I skill the glimpse and I glimpse the enemy hero, and the person still dies, and I've now glimpsed them back At to you. safety. Well, well, no, to safety. Oh, you know oh yeah, I mean? that like happens. In those first blood that situations. Like it's like, oh hey, game. now I'm almost back at the tower. That happens like to me like every game. Uh, I don't rely so much on glimpse. I've I've been playing my disruptor heavy Q. Uh, I always get I one 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 always. I've learned my lesson on not on on going two one zero. 
I've learned yeah. my lesson on that, and I go one 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 now. But I still, by level five, have three levels in queue. Um, and I buy a bunch of rain. I buy, buy two raindrops, two sets of raindrops, and I am constantly using my queue and harassing them out of the safe link constantly. Q and right click, Q and right click, and uh, uh, Wazoo and I found you know Jug Disruptor, really, 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 really good. Uh, just because you didn't emphasize that enough. <laughs> really good because the kinetic, you know, everything, yeah. everything about it is good. Um, and Heroes, Disruptor is good with just about any. Well, safe the, link just the care. kinetic field spin uh, for early sure. kills. Like that's what's just. Yeah, I mean, all I have to do is land a pretty easy spell to land, and he gets a kill. We but I mean, the same is true for Sven Stun. The same is true. No, because it's a yeah. Oh, because you can throw up a kinetic field. You can see well, the, the stun go off and know when to pop the kinetic field. The great thing about kinetic field is you put the hero in the epicenter of the kinetic field, so they have to walk into a wall, opposed to a right. stun where it stuns them right where they are, and then they can start walking and leaving immediately that's why i prefer the spin no, I'm saying, well the, the spin kinetic it's about when you you don't throw you don't throw kinetic until after the spin and stuff. sure i know and i have good and i have good range on it and everything anyway it's it's been ju- he's a yeah. an exceptional jug too sure he's a good jug yeah so anyway i've been having fun with that that's my All state right. of affairs Regor, why I went on forever regular what you what we want your solo mmr your party mmr and a and hero, you've, a been hero you've been playing uh Two-time Battle Cup champ. That's all that matters, right, guys? That is all that matters. Actually, I'm super impressed. But yeah, uh, we got three point. I have three point one k solo. Uh, I don't care about party. Uh, my rank, my international ranked party is like two point nine. Uh, I'm at three point one right now. I was three point one six months ago. Also, okay, so I was pretty consistent. I was higher MMR. <laughs> no, yeah, I was higher MMR like a month ago. One of the guys. Is on the magazine of 6k and he's like just play timber mid every game and you'll rise by 500 Ooh. i should probably take him off on that <laughs> advice i love these like ultimate answers you know yeah. what i mean where it's like yeah. you want mmr i've got the ultimate answer for here's you. 500 points yeah <laughs> do this <laughs> and hey this in the specter days it worked uh so boring though Oh, so much fun! What are you talking about? It is boring. Even you got bored after like twenty something wins. I got I had sixteen wins in a row. Yeah, like in a row, in a row with yeah. Specter, and it was an amazing feeling. And I got getting to the point where you attack two targets in one haunt is pretty freaking cool. Yeah. Where you haunt in, you dagger somebody, then haunt to a different target, and then kill that person. And so you have one person who's slowed, another person who's getting uh, desolated. It is a great time in my yeah. Dota career. Actually. So, what's the hero you've been playing, Rigor? Can't you guess? Earthshaker. <laughs> yeah. Is it is it really Earthshaker all the time? Uh, I'm super versatile. I play all five positions. I guess the person I played the most recently is probably Invoker, because I got the Immortal, this ultra rare set, and obviously that makes me a lot better. How at many it. levels do you have on your compendium? Like three hundred and thirty-five. You got lucky then, son. I want oh, you to yeah. know that you got lucky then, son. What it took Grouty? I think he went up to fifteen eighty before he got it. One thousand five hundred and eighty yeah. levels. He, Are you kidding no, me? He spent like five six hundred dollars to get that set. Grouty. Yeah. Um, no, he's not the only one. And Ursi will defend him because Ursi will go <laughs> yeah. into the. My dad's a fisherman. Okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and when he has to buy new fish poles, okay, they cost a lot of money for that. And yeah. that's my. And Dota's the hobby. And that's why I'm buying these digital it's still gifts. It's still a little <laughs> disgusting for one set. For one set. Well, well you can buy the invoker of, set for like got a ton of crap bucks. along the way too, though. I'm sure. Oh, right? and it's all. Oh, I'm cool, sure he got you know. all the the Slark gold blades. I'm sure well, he has at this the point, ultra isn't he getting an Aegis? Uh, yeah, at a thousand. Yeah, but he so. want he kept buying them and kept buying them and kept buying them and kept buying them, and kept buying them until he got the invoker set. For and, the faceless void for faceless Rex last year, uh, that was like the 32 set treasure. I'm like, I have the 32 sets. I'll just buy them all, and I'll probably get the courier. Got 32, nope. I'm like, all right, well, it's still cheaper to buy them all again. So I get 64, nope. And I'm like, all right, I'm just going to buy it and tell people I got it from the chest so they don't think less of me. <laughs> How much did it cost? Like 30 bucks by that point. It wasn't that bad. Oh, man, yeah, that's not that yeah, bad. Best career in the that. game, too. And also they were like a dollar. Yeah. They weren't They weren't. They were terrible. like a dollar forty nine. Those, those chests. Um, they weren't terrible as far as cosmetics. <laughs> no, I, like every once in a while, like I... Do the max on plus twenty four levels and look at it, and it's like three ninety nine forty six, and I'm like, let's see, like what else could <laughs> I spend this four hundred dollars on 
that I'd rather... Oh, yeah, a million other things. Oh, yeah, yeah $400. That I um, actually have. Yeah, like... I'll uh, make a car payment next month, thank you. Or, like, uh, I'll buy that monitor I've always wanted that's, you know, 144 hertz, yeah. one millisecond, you know, 4K. One millisecond delay, 4K. Like, I'll, I'll buy that monitor over... I don't know, but if you really love Invoker, and people do, yeah. even though this IO bullsh- bullshit that's going on, IO beating Invoker, is stupid... Yeah. I got a I got a story about that one actually. Okay, let's hear. For, for Feeders Digest, Cheap Sick does our artist. Mm-hmm. I say she's our artist. She didn't do anything last week because she was at DSL or last month because she was at DSL. She didn't do anything this month because she was working on a short film. Mm-hmm. But she was in the first issue, and she she said, "All right, if I make a comic this month, that's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be like Ice Frog and Gabe Newell looking at like a computer screen. They're gonna be like Faceless Void remodel." Are they idiot? Or we just have to get rid of the remodel vote, and then it will be like two years later. Io Arcana? Are they idiots? We have to get rid of the remodel vote. <laughs> or Arcana vote. I, I messed up the joke. No, the, but, I, right. I got the joke, and it was it was good. It's it, it's gonna win. I just want everybody out there listening. There are two impending things happening. Okay, one I'm not gonna harken or talk so much about, and one I am gonna talk a lot about. Trump is scary. And Io Arcana, are you kidding me? Like, no, don't just meme it to a, an Io victory, you guys. I'd much rather have Pudge, Slark, or Juggernaut. Well, I, I'm, I'm all right with Pudge not getting it. I'm okay. Pudge, Pudge is Pudge. third place for me. Io's fourth place. Uh, Slark is definitely first place, even though he just got some golden I, blades. I would definitely, I would definitely the golden rather, blades are going to lower his I, vote. I would Io's definitely gonna... rather Jug get it over over io i mean i'm saying this as an informed de- uh, decision but it's gonna be io versus jug they're both leading right and i yeah. i think every time we've seen leading yeah. that means they win well this far into it yeah like, i remember early on being able to cast like all 24 48 and of my votes and it would switch over and be <laughs> yeah. like yeah like my votes actually <laughs> counted they counted here they mattered but yeah, the, yeah I don't think your vote matters anymore. I'm so sad Earthshaker got two free passes and didn't win the, his first vote that he got to skip two whole rounds. Uh, Earthshaker, yeah, that's that's a bummer. He got a, co- a pretty cool. I like his new W, the immortal yeah. item. I like that. That's cool. I have that in the Bindings of Deep Magma. Yeah, the cool fissure. Yeah. Oh yeah. Fire, well, I want the golden fissure, but I'm not going. I'm not spending that much. How much is golden fissure? over a hundred is all i know unless it changed <clears throat> well yeah, if no, you get no. over here and you mow the lawn like four times i'll i'll <laughs> I'll, I'll buy you the uh i'll buy you the the uh, all right before fissure. grandpa roland runs long in the tooth again i'm gonna do my state of affairs real quick uh 2484 on my solo i've uh let's see i want to do the math real quick i've dropped 420 points in my party nice. i was at i was nine uh fifty 2950 was 2949 was my height and i'm now 23 in the 23s or 24s so you're like i dropped 600 down 550 or so and i know why it's because it's exactly what all of the higher skill players like ursinity and fafnir said would happen if he stops playing core he's going to lose mmr and i went back into the jungle i just where I, where I feel safe and at home, dude. And I lost a lot of MMR. Uh, well, my parties or my solo just keeps going out. I had I had one of those like mo- those roaming Ricky semi slept games last night, where I felt like a god, where I was always in the right place at the right time. It felt like. And the ho- the other team is like, oh my god, just we need more sentries, and the whole map is oh, just yeah. sprinkled. Oh, in it was them. everywhere. Yeah. And then they grabbed a gem, which we very quickly got, and I just carried around to, like just. Did you have a every ward. Nah, didn't need it at that point. It was it was really game like over. Two hitting. By the time they got it, yeah. By the time they got the gem up and active on somebody, it was too late. I mean, I was. And I guess you're attacking so fast, you can pull them down like pretty quick. A sentry. Ward. Well, and I had I had I had so four times, not once, not twice, not three times, four times. This this poor sand king was trying to get off an epicenter. And, and I happened to be the right there. I would smoke you, as I saw the animation you know, start. That means the cooldown goes like that. It, that I thought it just canceled. Nope. Starts the cooldown. The second you start that channel, cooldown, I fuck it up all the time. Really? Yes. It, it doesn't That's just cancel. great to know. Yeah. So you canceled it every single time. <laughs> oh, man. Four times you that canceled happened to him. Epicenter. And the team was just go. They would just- so like if I'm, ca- if I'm doing that and I get orchided, it cancels it. So it, or it doesn't cancel it. It, I have, I have a cooldown now. 
Like, if I'm in the middle of that obvious channel, yeah. which is super obvious on Sand Oh, King, yeah. It's, I if mean, somebody orchids me, if somebody stuns me, if somebody does anything, it's, it's on, it's on cooldown. Oh, uh, yeah. the team was just LOLing constantly, just every time it happened to oh, the poor nice. bastard. Uh, That's which is probably why you moment. didn't see it in quick succession, right? Oh, Him never. Well, I just assumed I was always there to stop it before it happened. <laughs> no, <so. laughs> you probably just like it was. He pr- probably used it every time it was off cooldown. You just uh, stopped it from ever yeah, happening. It was a great time. I had like thirty assists mm-hmm. as Ricky, just setting well, up kills. We actually uh, did Sand King mid for the Battle Cup. Really? Did it? Mm-hmm. Was it a heavy E build? Uh, yeah, it was a pretty heavy E build. Uh, yeah. I don't know the exact build, but he was against Caustic Storm finale. Spirit. I'm we getting... thought he was going to be against Timber Mid, and the last pick, Storm Spirit, is like, yeah, it'll be fine. He'll just uh, stand in my stands room like an idiot because he's a Storm Spirit player, and he was 100% right. And I bet he did. Even though Storm is great against Sand King, if you just if you just walk in, drop a remnant, walk out. You know what I mean? Because you, you know the Sand King is in the center of that thing. Yeah. Although he does have two seconds of, of invisibility Although when he that runs was, away. <clears throat> that was the other nice thing about playing Ricky against him, was anytime I saw a Sandstorm, you could just throw it right in that pit. Pop that cloud down, and I max cloud. Like, oh, so. you should. I mean, yeah. do you see that radius grow? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it becomes, like, huge. And the, we, they had a Storm Spirit on the huge. team, actually, as well, which was, mm-hmm. you in know, every... all the more. Uh, battle cup game either i've been first blood or he's gotten first blood 1v1 mid <laughs> nice yeah, well, yeah no it, he's it's, he's it's insane. insane i'm happy you got a ringer we're doing it the legit way <laughs> we made it to the finals our first week uh we made it to the semifinals second week so it was a bummer it was bad bad drafts though all it was all my fault all my well, fault. now you have no excuse. You'll at least have right. three-fifths of a good draft. Yes, I yeah. do always have three-fifths. It's just, who plays E.T., you know what I mean? Like, I played Nobody him, we know. I played him to get my all-hero challenge, and yeah. it probably took me like eight times to win with him, you know what I mean? For the so, Battle Cup, uh, uh-huh. Greed's history goes Elder Titan, Elder Titan, Ricky, Elder Titan, Elder Titan, Elder Titan, <laughs> just E.T. Nice. And for me, it's Slardar, Void, 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 Slardar. I'm a bad Slardar, but the armor reduct oh yeah dude minus armor strats the way to go hey Regor, where can people find you when when can we look out for the august edition give us some information on you and your staff and uh i mean i we can read the magazine obviously but g- give some shout outs here because this you know this is a big project with a lot of okay help. so first off his username is gore but really his name is pedro uh or pietro he's from italy and brazil i think he speaks four languages pretty insane but he helped me read through all the emails because out of the many people who like submitted an email he was the only one who messaged me on google hangouts i'm like all right you know what this guy's my second in charge nice so uh not that that's a hard of a thing to do messaging it on google hangouts but i'm like i have too many to respond to so like i had him respond to a hundred. Oh, nice well i had him star the really good ones and then i went through oh cool Okay. Uh, Nailseps did the entire first issue by himself in terms of taking the text and the pictures and making it look good. And making it look and, like a magazine? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. And now now he's the department head for assembly. Pedro's the department head for fan content. Wow. And uh, Greed, who's actually the Elder Titan player for our Battle Cup team, he's the department head for esports. He's also the only person in esports right now. Uh, so he's his own boss. Nice. <laughs> But he's he he interviews people. He interviewed Wicked Merlini. I don't think he interviewed anyone for the first issue. But no, I think he interviewed someone. But he's uh he's been doing good work. He managed to. I just have to get the contact info from people. Then I uh, make um, sure they want to do it. Give it to him. Gotcha. Well, it's awesome. If you guys want to follow them on Twitter, uh, you can follow uh, Regor specifically at D Two Official Mag. And it uh, looks like the uh, magazine itself has at D2 Digest on Twitter. Uh, if you guys want to find out what they're up to. And, uh, of course, that's at issue.com, I-S-S-U-U.com, forward slash Feeders Digest to find the magazine. Uh, oh, I forgot one. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you know Nigma No Name with his Dota Digests? That sounds so yeah. familiar. But I've seen a few. Yeah, he's uh he's writing a guide on Pugnamid for this issue, and uh, he said that we could put a seal of mediocrity on it. So big thanks to him. Nice <laughs> to have the seal of mediocrity. That's gonna be on the back. Oh, nice. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah, I, I know he's a YouTuber that does stuff. 
I know the name. The moment he said the name, I, I, I know I had that recall, but I can't. Yeah. I can't place it specifically. His yeah. username is Dingma, but his profile picture is Rubik. <laughs> sounds huh. sounds about right. Uh, if you guys want to find us, we're defenseofthepatients.com. Follow us on Twitter at p underscore show. Uh, check us out on iTunes, uh, Stitcher, all your favorite podcast apps. Leave more reviews for Proud to Read because, God damn it, the, the, you know, I like having Proud to Read the reviews. I feel bad. His parents are going to listen to this and they're like, you listen to that potty mouth <laughs> bad show. Well, I just said damn it. I, on, I'm no, sure. Did I drop some bombs? I have no idea. I'm sure I did. I'll go back and listen and we'll, we'll I'm going we'll to have to like edit sure. this out. <laughs> um, a lot of this out. Also, if you guys want to follow us on Facebook, go ahead and give us a like. Search Defense of the Patients. We're there. Uh, so little tidbit of info because of the way that our, our podcast is released and synced with our Facebook account, Facebook is actually the first place that people can find out that the show's been released. Oh. So you get the earliest notice there because the Twitter and all that we handle manually, but the Facebook auto updates. Uh, so uh, feel free to throw us a like there. YouTube.com forward slash dot PTV ones where you can find all of the podcasts, all of the latest videos for theory craft Thursday, uh, streams. Uh, we're trying to get the dot PN houses up there. Speaking of which, .pn houses every Wednesday night, so if you're listening to this today, live on Wednesday, or current on Wednesday, uh, tonight, coming up, got some more in-houses run by Grouty himself, the man who dropped way too much money to get an in set. You didn't I'll know be there, was... by the way. Oh, nice. That'll if be anyone fun. cares. No, yeah. I no, don't think sorry. so. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. no, we're glad yeah. you could pop by. Yeah. Um, and it's a great place to meet people. The Discord is a requirement for that. You can find it at defensethepatients.com. Click on the ladder tab. And hey, mom and dad, it's a safe place. Everybody is held accountable. There's we no ban people for being mean. We yeah. ban people for being mean. So no one will be mean. It's a nice environment. Welcome to to defense the patients well it strips away that sure, anonymity you know to make yeah. sure that i wouldn't be disturbed during this i told them i had to be interviewed and they're like well what do they want i'm like well they just want my credit card and social security numbers so it's fine. <laughs> also we need your mom's maiden name yeah what uh, is that because uh, it's not working when we're applying yeah. for these credit cards uh so, smith oh okay okay great, nice perfect. nice <laughs> but yeah so i think that's all our plugs folks uh Rigor, thanks again for coming on the show and to all of you out there listening, until next time, this is Cyphus for Roland and Regor saying good luck and Godspeed.